Hey, what's going on? So in this video, we're going to be talking about getting to 10k a month in property sales. We actually did this video a year ago. I'm here with Callum. So the guys, how you doing? Hello, my friend. <laughs> and we're going to go over this all again. Um, the last year has been mental. Best way to put it, like yeah, it's been crazy. It's the, been crazy. The, the growth, the the growth of let property, um, the growth of what um, we've been able to achieve, and also how the sales team has grown as well. Um, it's been absolutely immense. So yeah, yeah and this this video we're just going to really shoot through it. We're we're, we're going to show you this the start to finish, and mm -hmm. um, what it takes to be a successful sales consultant. Um, what it takes to really grow within the property industry. That's it. Um, to start things off, I just wanted to go into like the most common question that you'd say you get asked on a daily basis. I think it's probably the question that we both get asked. Yeah. Um, All the time. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, how can I make more money? How yeah. can I be successful? Yeah. What, what is the what's the way to do that? I had a guy message me literally. Like, I think it was this morning, and it was just make me money. I was like, <laughs> I was like that's yeah. not a great intro, but yeah. you know, uh, I can see something there. <laughs> some, of the, some of the messages are absolutely mental. But yeah, that's it. And I see, I think the thing is like, actually making that 10,000 pounds a month is um, not as difficult as most people would think. Um, there is actually a blueprint to it. It's like the people, if you look at people that make money, um, they tend to go out and do it again. Yes. You know, it was like you and your last business when you'd sold that, um, you know, it wasn't a fluke. You then, you knew you had the blueprint of what it was, but what you'd done. Yes. Um, but more importantly, the person that you were and that you had become through the process that you were then able to take that blueprint and then go and do it again. 100%. So just for, for people that don't know us, Callum, let's build a bit of social proof here and actually explain who are we, you know, where have we come of what have we done? So mm -hmm. those of you who don't know what Let Property is and, and kind of who we are, so Let Property is um, now Scotland's largest property investment sales company. Soon will be England's largest property investment sales company. We're actually massively expanding down south. Um, we have one of the largest property sales teams um, in actually Scotland, and we've been expanding rapidly over the last two years. Um, we really started this from nothing. Mm -hmm. um, to, to give you a bit of backstory um, and kind of who we are, you know, so I, I'm, you know, I basically run the company. Callum is my business partner. He actually runs the, the entire sales team and operation. Mm -hmm. So he's the best guy um, to be on here today talking about growth in sales. Um, but previous to this, um, me, me and Callum have, have, have had a journey. Um, I actually had a uh, a marketing agency That's before right, yes. pro property sales, um, which was sold for a multiple seven figure exit, mm -hmm. um, and that was the basis for what's allowed us to actually grow and expand and um, take let property um, and allow it to, to grow so quickly. Yeah, I think that's one of the things that's for myself. I come from quite like a, a direct sales background. It's you know you get given leads most of the time, not even warm, cold leads, you go out and you have to try and sell and make money off the back of it. Um, so when I met someone like Gary, who knew how to create warm leads, yeah. um, it made my job a hell of a lot easier, I tell you. Um, and that's one of the great things even in like property, all the leads that we deal with, they're extremely warm. We're very good at um, building up warm leads yes. um, off the back of the marketing company and the, the experience in marketing. Totally. Um, and that's a great advantage for any salespeople that come in. Yeah, totally. totally. So I mean, what, what we do at Let Property is we, we sell tenanted properties, for those who don't know. So um, it's basically an investment property sales company. We're working with quite a lot of exotic investors as well, you That's know, investors right. around the world. Um, and, you know, we've created, I mean, some people like to call it the Wolf of Wall Street <laughs> office, you know, it's like, it's almost like, um, the, the 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 property version of being a stockbroker in a yeah, sense. That's right. I'm not sure I'm too uh, you know pleased about that connotation, but <laughs> uh, you know whatever floats people's boats. You know, you, if you want to pretend you're Jordan Belfort, you know, yeah. then it's always going to be the same. No matter what environment you go into in sales, it's oh, Wolf Wall Street, this and that. It's like it's going to be a thing, yes, isn't it? But, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> um, cool. Um, let's just go straight into it then. I mean, with yourself. Um, when you were 23 year old, years old and the, your business had sold and you woke up that morning and two million pounds had hit your bank account, what did it feel like? Um, great question. I, I'll be honest with you. It was probably, it was probably uh, one of the saddest days of my life. Really? Yeah, because in that moment, I 
realized that my expectation was not reality. Um, I realized when I'd made all that money and I'd um, had all of what I thought was the end goal, the success, mm -hmm. um, it really wasn't what was fulfilling. Um, right. What I had loved about that business um, that I'd previously sold was the journey, the um, the marketing, the sales, the um, the dominating in an industry, the working with really cool people. Mm -hmm. And overnight, it almost felt like I'd lost all of that. Right. So um, although it was great in a security sense financially to have lots of money, mm -hmm. um, I think what you're working on and who you're working on it with mm. matters a lot more in life. And that's actually where you get a uh, true fulfillment. Yeah. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, and for yourself, right, what would you say is the biggest thing that holds people back from making money? Um, the biggest the, the biggest thing um, that I think holds people back from their next level of success is um, it's unmet potential. And it's not having a clear vision and a clear plan and a clear mm -hmm. plan of where you want to go. Um, there's so many people that, that we meet um, on a daily basis, I mean, the amount of interviews we carry about is absolutely mental, to be yeah, honest with over you. Over a thousand applicants a month. A thousand applicants now. a month, like the uh, high level interviews. One thing that I would say we've had a really good insight on is being able to see the potential that people actually have. Absolutely. Um, and I think what holds people back is not realizing what they could do with that. Mm -hmm. And people are very often stuck and they, they, they stay at a level. Um, that of comfort. Yes, yeah. and comfort, yeah. yeah. Um, they stay at a level that um, they're happy with. Mm -hmm. And I think if people truly understood what they could do and what they could achieve, if they pushed harder and if they had a clear vision and a path, they could achieve so much more with the skills and ability that, that they have. Absolutely. I think that's it. People's biggest hindrance is their own mindset, you know. Um, I remember one of the interesting things you said to me was um, the, the, the first step is just having that self-belief. If you believe you can do it, then often you can. Yes. Um, and having the certainty through through that result. Yes. Um, but there's far too, far too many people that feel that comfort um, and they, they stay with it and they don't put themselves out there. Um, I think Nathan's a really good example. Um, you know, <laughs> he's got, he, he, we, uh, when he came in um, on, te on paper, um, like when you look at his CV, he, you, you shouldn't even give him an interview. No, you shouldn't even be giving an interview. <laughs> I mean, like... As this guy, to put in perspective here, the, the best example of unmet potential. Oh yeah, big time. I mean, what was he on, 20 grand a year or something? It was 21,000 like 21, a year 21,000 a on, year, yeah. right. La it's last month, I mean, his commission was like, what, 10 grand? Yeah, over 10,000 pounds. Over 10,000 pounds yeah. last month. Like he, he is, um, he's one of the highest earning salespeople that we've had in the office. Mm -hmm. He's been there, what, four months? I mean, that was his second month in the job. On the job. Last month. So now he's coming up in three, three months or so. Three yeah, months, three right. Four so months. three months and he's, he's, he's broke records. And that's an example of somebody there that, and you know, what, what has Nathan had, I would say he's been one of the best advocates of true self-belief. Absolutely. He's seen what's possible. He's went out there and he's got it. Um, and really, I think for us, that's what sales is all about. You know, sales is it's a, it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a way of living. It's Everything a, is a sale. Yes, exactly. I mean, you, Everything's a sale. 100%. And that's like a cliche comment that a lot of people make, but it's so true. It's like a way you live. Like I, I, would, I would say from working on this business in the last two years, just the, the confidence and um, um, enjoyment and enthusiasm I felt around my entire life mm. has lifted up to whole new levels just by actually being in an environment where we are pushing every day to be better at sales. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, like, with sales, another cliche term, it's just a transfer of energy, right? So that's why salespeople, it's like the cliche is, oh, they're really enthusiastic and, you know, they're passing the energy about and they're really jumping and whatnot, right? But totally. that's what it's about. It's about that transfer of energy, right? So imagine what it's like in our office right now. You know, we've got like 30 salespeople, um, you know, top tier level salespeople who know what they're talking about and they're all super enthusiastic for life. They're yes. all go-getters. They're all chasing 
their dreams, their potential, yeah. they're wanting to better themselves. If you put yourself in that environment, you're a product of your yes. environment. Like you can you, you feed off you can feed yeah. off that very quickly. You can't not improve. Yes. You know, we've had people that have only lasted a week. Um, you know, last week there was a guy that had had, had left unfortunately, um, because unfortunately he just didn't he didn't cut it yeah. um um to be honest. But he'd actually thanked us for the experience that he'd got. Yes. Um because he got to see well, what he said was he got to see just a little bit of what mm. belief looks like. He, he got to see what he what he could do with his life, and you know that's that's a massive impact that that's going to make for him. And, and that to me is the 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 true deep meaning of I think why um, a great sales company is really fulfilling. Absolutely, yeah, one hundred percent. And with yourself, I mean, what would you say is your favourite part about sales itself? Um. I think I, I think for me in, in in the last couple of years, what's been super exciting um, is being able to see people that have gone from like nothing mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then make something of themselves. You know, there's one person in the company in particular. I'll not mention names, but mm -hmm. um, you would you would think about this person like they really should have been a junkie. Oh yeah, right? absolutely. They, they should have been a junkie um, with with the stuff that had happened in this person's life. Mm -hmm. um, you would really think that this person shouldn't have achieved tr unbelievable things. Mm -hmm. But with their desire, self-belief, how hard they've worked on themselves, the, mm -hmm. um, the motivation that they've built from all the kind of turmoil that's happened in their life, they've been able to turn it into good on a sales floor. Mm -hmm. And I think sales gives anyone with any qualification, with any background, mm -hmm. the ability to really be and feel successful. And to me, what, mm -hmm. I, what I love about that is I love seeing people that are unhappy with their current circumstances mm -hmm. and where they are right now. And they're able to come in and do something and make something of themselves from absolutely nothing. Like to bring in a guy like Nathan, yep. who was yep. in 21,000 a year mm -hmm. and just overnight he has changed his life. He's probably changed the trajectory of his family's life. Mm -hmm. like the way his family will look at him now, the way his kids are going to look, like everything, like he's been able to truly build himself up incredibly quickly and achieve something that people work for decades to try mm -hmm. and build. Yes. And mm -hmm. I love the uncapped ability for, for a nobody to become somebody overnight in sales mm -hmm. and to be part of that journey with people. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and that, that's what it's all about. I think the key to even Nathan is it's like, he had that when when he came in for that interview and I and we, we just, I just seen something in him, right? And that's it. Like so many people feel like I know I felt it. I knew that I'd felt like I had something special yes. in terms of I felt like it was I was different in terms yes. of making an impact. I knew that there was something there. There's more in you. But it's the vehicle that had not gave, I'd never had the right vehicle when you're yes. working it. You know, I worked in TK Maxx. Um, you know, I worked in uh, washing dishes and curry yes. takeaways. Um, you know, I've done all the the worst of worst jobs, yes. um, and I've never felt fulfilled. Yes. However, when I came into sales, it became that vehicle that had then driven me forward. Yes. And, and also, what are you selling? You know, I mean, even even mm -hmm. if I go back to like the previous company that I sold, the main reason I sold the marketing company was because that vehicle was so small. You know, mm -hmm. um, I think people need to pick. A vehicle that's a good vehicle as well. Like yeah, for example, you know, property sales. Like um, the the great thing about property sales specifically is it's a high ticket product, right? Mm -hmm. If you're selling houses to you know overseas investors, mm -hmm. you're working with high net worth individuals. Um, you're selling you know a million pounds worth of property a month. Mm -hmm. Um, if you're if you're involved in that transactional element of the marketplace, mm -hmm. you know you're going to make more than somebody's going to make selling three hundred quid worth of lush soap. Yeah. Right. So um, <laughs> th there's more to be made in something that's higher ticket and has a higher value vehicle for the marketplace. Yeah, of course. Um, and that's that that's really important. So, mm -hmm. it's, you know, sales is one thing, but also what are you selling? Mm -hmm. Right. And what's the what's the potential in the thing you're selling? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes so much sense. I mean, on that topic, why would you say let property is able to pay so much in commission commission as opposed to say another estate agent or even another sales yeah 
Job. It's a good question because a lot of people they look at us and <laughs> I even look at other uh, estate agents in, in yeah. the space and you know they um, they look at us and their their jaws are still dropped. You know, it's like how have we been able to grow so quick? How are people in our team? You know, like w there's there's guys working in our team that used to work for some of these agencies. You know, mm -hmm. why are we able to attract such a vast amount of people to come and work with us? Mm -hmm. And why is the opportunity all so good? How is it people can earn this in property? Because if you look in the if you you know you go into jobsearch.com and all these kind of websites and look up property sales jobs in Scotland, mm -hmm. um, you know, you'd be lucky to find a job paying you 30 grand a year. It's it's, it's actually quite a professional-based industry, the high status industry. People don't actually, a lot of these companies don't need to pay people a lot. People just no. want to work in property. Um, the, the thing is, is that the reason why people can get so much with us is because of our unique aspect of our business model. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we do is we transact tenanted properties um, and we're basically solving a bigger problem for people um, than a generic residential property sale. It actually targets a smaller section of the marketplace, about 10%. So it means that, um, that, that investor market there is more money in it and we're solving a bigger problem. And also there's more skills involved in dealing with an investor than just selling a residential home to somebody with a nice garden, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You know, the, the guys that are on the floor here that we're talking about capital yields, we're talking about, mm -hmm. um, you know, but buy to let mortgage rates, there's, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot more to it, right? Mm -hmm. um, so being able to have the skills and have that, solve that bigger problem for people, actually keep a tenancy in place. There's yes. so many other services mm -hmm. that can be upsold like lettings and, mm -hmm. um, and um, investor mortgage and an investor will buy multiple houses instead of just one. So the business structure means that for a sales agent on our floor, they can actually generate more money for the business than they would in most sales or property sales businesses. I think there's one key factor that you've missed out on um, that helps our sales guys earn so much money. And it goes back to greed. There's so many companies that earn so much money but they just don't pay their sales guys mm, to the level true. that I think they deserve. Yes. Like the, the the sales guys are the guys that are out there. Yeah, okay, we've made we've created the vessel, you know, totally. the, the engine. Yes. But they're the ones that are running it on a day to day basis. And that, that comes down to our mindset. I mean, we've said this from day one. You know, like uh, yeah, I would ask a a, a a layman's man. You know, what mm -hmm. what what are we in the business of doing in the property sales? And they would say, "What you sell houses? Mm -hmm. No, property sales is not in the business of selling houses. Property sales is a recruitment business. Mm -hmm. The people mm -hmm. that sell the houses is the product, right? And it's people that transact. There was actually a situation today, um, and I was I was even just thinking about it before we came over, and I was speaking to you about one of our sales managers, um, and I was basically talking about um, what we what we should pay him in terms of like a revenue share of his team, yeah. and um, you know we were just talking about like half a percent. I was like half a percent, I was like, that's quite a lot of money, you know, this guy's going to be earning like over £10,000 a month to, to run this team, like almost straight away, that's yes. a big salary increase, you know, considering he's not got any revenue share right now. Yes. And I was like, let's just put it as a quarter percent. Yes. And then you came back to me and you were like, um, you said, Callum, like, you, you, you don't understand, I want him to get rich, which I thought was quite a, a nice moment because I yeah. was like, you know what, like, like uh, you kind of look at the numbers and when you're running a business, you do run a business on numbers, but at the same time, we want people to be successful. It's, a, it's an abundance mindset, you know. It's it's like um, I, th I think that that breathes through for a business, and that's what holds most people back as well. But it's mm -hmm. it's really looking at uh, looking at things, saying, you know what, we should all get rich, mm -hmm. like. <laughs> you like mm -hmm. if you get if you, if you get rich, you know that that's that's why we all work so hard. That's that's why we've grown to yeah. what we've grown to in a year because everyone is well incentivized. Every everyone has potential to do some do something great if they're willing to put in the work. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. the th the thing with let properties, it's quite polarizing that way. Yeah, the people who sure. really put in the work succeed dramatically, mm -hmm. but the people who don't don't last a minute. That's it. I think in the UK especially, um, there's just a severe lack of. There's a severe lack of motivation from people. People yes. are so just caught in the system and the matrix. They just do their day to day. There's not. There's, it's very rare to find someone with a huge mindset, like with growth, and they're looking for that bec become better yes. um, in themselves. And it even leads into my next question: Is what what would you say you look for in someone when you're hiring them? Self belief, um, drive. That's mm -hmm. that's the the most important thing. Um, but by but by a country mile. Uh, over over skills. Mm -hmm. um, every time someone's struggling or not doing well, it comes down to that very simple fact. Because um, the truth is, is almost anything can be learned, and any and the strategies out there. You know, if we we talk about for a second, um, 
like making ten thousand pounds per month. Probably mm -hmm. anyone watching this right now practically understands mm -hmm. how to make ten thousand pounds per month. They probably have seen people make ten thousand pounds per month. Mm -hmm. They probably know exactly what that looks like. Okay, mm -hmm. the strategy is not really the problem. The problem is, is that they're not the type of person that can make ten thousand pounds per month, and that's because they don't have the mindset. Mm -hmm. So, to me, what I'm looking for when someone's coming in is that self belief and drive. It's that someone that when they see the vision of what's in front of them and when they see what they can do and they look at that commission street and they, they can see it mm -hmm. is that they sit in front of me and they say i am going to do this yeah i understand this and nothing is going to get in my way from doing it i mean that's that's one thing i've said before it's like with the guys they're like oh i couldn't possibly do you know 15 sales in a month i couldn't do 20 sales in a month and i was like well done you won't <laughs> well yeah exactly but <laughs> realistically if i had a gun to your mum's head you would do it and I said, you need to get 15 sales in a month. It would happen. You'd yes. make it happen. And you'd find a way. You'd find someone. You'd, you'd, so it's not an if, it's a how. Exactly. And even Elon Musk, I mean, he's a great example. Um, he said something recently in a podcast that I was listening to. And um, he says that you need to look for the right mindset because skills and experience, that can be acquired. But the right mindset often requires a brain transplant. Yes. And I think that's so topical to what we look for in a hire. Yes. It's about the person more so what they've the done. the skills and the experience. Obviously that helps. It does help. Of course <laughs> it does. We, we, we want people with skills and experience. It makes our job easier. But um, yeah, someone someone that sits in front of me with undeniable self-belief. By the way, uh, I can't think of somebody in the last year that's really had as much belief as I would say we have. Mm. Right to actually sit, mm -hmm. like it's very. Uh, I could count probably my one hand the amount of people that have sat in front of me, and I've I've seen that in them, because that is something you work on, yeah. and that's not to it's say a skill, that you, isn't it? It's a skill. It's a skill, and also it comes from hard work, mm -hmm. because wh where's confidence? Where's confidence comes from saying you're going to do something and doing it time mm -hmm. and time and time again, right? Mm -hmm. And that just requires work ethic. That requires hard work. You know, because a lot, a lot of people will sit there and they'll say, oh, you just need to work hard. Yeah, but why are we working hard? We're working hard to build confidence so that you can believe that the mm -hmm. next thing is truly possible. Mm -hmm. um, so someone that has that part, someone who's achieved difficult things and has belief in themselves, mm -hmm. um, love to see that. That's yeah. like and that's it. I mean, confidence, I think that confidence is the key to sales. If you're really good at confidence, it'll take you a long way. Um, and as you said, it's just like, it's about doing what you say you're going to do. You know, I, I don't know what a guy that, you, you look at someone, say um, an avatar, someone that gets up at 6 a.m., goes to the gym every morning. They're not going to be shy. You no. know, they, they, they've said what they're going to do. Yes. They've went and done it. They've executed on it. It builds confidence yes. in, in people. Exactly. Um, with yourself, Here's a wee question for you. What would you say is your biggest fear? By a country mile, it's unmet potential. One thing I thought was quite interesting um, is even going about in the, the McLaren, um, the people that are most excited are the young uh, young boys that yes. are like quite young you know, teenagers that see the car like, oh, that's so cool. Wow, wow. Take photos next to it and, and whatnot because it's a super car. It's exciting. Um, the people that are most um, better, um, or probably you get older the most guys. hate from yeah, probably older like men. The forty, you're, you're on the motorway. It's the it's the the, the mm -hmm. fifty two year old that's that's on the lane to your mm -hmm. right, mm -hmm. and you drive past him, and you can see that he's intentionally not looking, and mm -hmm. you can see him on the wing mirror staring at the car. It's just wee things like that. But the weird thing I find because I thought about that, I remember I just noticed it, um, and it's like. It's the same person, right? So them, yes. get, them boys that, and the adult men, they're the same pe person. However, the adult, the reason why they get the men are basically so upset about it is because they, young guys, they have everything to dream for. Yes. When they're older, they feel like they've passed they've it. Passed they never, it, they never the made time. it. Yes. Um, and there's a lot of resentment which, which, which comes with that. Yes. Um, I think especially in Glasgow where, um, you know, there's so many people that, are better around them. I think. Subjects. I think. Be, I think being a young person, um, you should be completely dissatisfied with your life, mm -hmm. because see, at the end of the day, when you get to that age of fifty-two, yeah, see if you were dissatisfied and you at least tried, mm. you're not going to live in regret because you gave it your all. Mm -hmm. That's the one thing that I'm totally grateful for. Is even if I don't reach the absolute crazy goals I have and. It all fails tomorrow and I'm yeah. back at square one. One thing I can say over 99% of people is that I really and truly gave it 
two thousand percent and i believed and i pushed and i went and chased difficult things that's a completely different topic but like i actually pushed forward and did it you know mm-hmm. did did the most i could to achieve mm-hmm. and that's it. it's all about chasing pain you know it's like um when you walk through Stephen like Buchanan Street or um, through Glasgow and you're seeing people around you I think that's the biggest thing that holds people back is that lack of vision lack of putting themselves into difficult situation yeah you know just always taking the easy choice and not wanting to truly push themselves a lot of people talk about wanting to achieve big things here all the time every I mean the amount of people that will come in especially in interviews with us I want to do this, I want to do that, but you can really tell in someone's eyes, mm-hmm. someone who's really tried, someone who's really wants it, you know? Absolutely. Um, and that comes as well from dissatisfaction. It comes from looking at where you're at today and thinking, where should I be and what can I do tomorrow? Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, that's it. What do you think seeing with yourself? Obviously, you say that um, when the two million pound hit your bank, it was the most um, upsetting day of your life. I don't know if that's a bit dramatic, but yeah, I like, I like making that one dramatic. <laughs> um, but tell me something that you bought with the money that was exciting. What did you, if you, when you had that money, realistically, what did you go out and buy? I have, I have a very strong investor mindset. So, I'm, for the most part, I've, I've invested the money into property. That's mm-hmm. that's obviously massively helped our business because it was actually the reason I started was because I wanted to buy properties for myself. Um, but the one stupid thing I guess I bought, which not really been stupid, it's probably been quite a benefit, mm-hmm. um, was. Uh, McLaren 570s supercar um that was that was the the silly purchase it was actually a mentor that says I need to celebrate this I need to do something <laughs> with this um, you would probably be miserable about it yeah you know I was um so <laughs> I don't know what to do in my life so I got I got the car you know I got, I got it for a bit of, of attention um and it certainly brought that so yeah that was the that was the the one silly purchase the thing is it builds up a lot of credibility that's one thing I've noticed with a car like that is you do a lot, get a lot of credibility, even like um, Craig Gallagher and um, Sarah. We yes. met them through, um, you Tip know, Quinn Energy. Yeah. Sarah runs our lettings team now. It's been without that, you wouldn't have that part of the business. No, and realistically, correct. that part of the business has bought us the car the ten times hook over. The got us there was that car, yeah, yeah. Totally. So it's like you're paying for that, you know, thing on the other side. Totally, um, it's good justification to buy and a supercar. Yeah, it's but... a good justification for. <laughs> Um, we will spend money but you know I, again uh, for through it all uh, I, th- I think it's important to to you know they, they say work hard play hard I, I'm I'm a huge advocate for that now it's like a, I think at the time when I, when I got that money in the door um, I was a work hard uh, invest the money and be a miserable wee sod mindset <laughs> you know it wasn't the yeah. it wasn't the absolute best mindset in the world I had mm-hmm. um, you know playing, playing hard is important you know there's no there's no point in life and you know, like if you're going to work hard and build an incredible sales career and a credible business, you should be able to spend money. You should be able to mm-hmm. to to to, um, to to buy nice things. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you just bought that Rolex recently. Uh, you know, we, we we talk about being miserable. I mean, honestly, <laughs> you know, you were absolutely you you spoke he spoke that thing up for about. How long? Two, two years? Oh, I'm going to Rolex. When I'm Rolex, well, Rolex. Yeah, I had a number in my head. Number um, in the head. He was like, once we hit, set a target. Yeah, once we hit, once we hit hundred thousand in a month. Um, and I'd buy it and, and buy the Rolex. Hit, we, had hit, we had hit it last early last year. Yeah, and um, so I was like, right, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. But and yeah. then it was it didn't give you much in the moment because no. what is exciting is the journey. It's actually mm-hmm. the chase of the. It's the thought of getting a Rolex and being able to afford a Rolex. It's not having the Rolex. The watch is just a flipping watch. Yeah, no, you know, it just tells the time at the end of the day. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Um, it's harder to tell the time on it than your phone as well. It's not even any more practical. It's probably worse. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> um, but no, it's one of these things. It's always like, I was even looking at getting a car recently and I was like, it's always like pushing it back. Do you know what I mean? You could get a nice car. You could get, you know, Porsche or, a, um, you know, um, you know, an Aston Martin or whatever. But it's like, you want to push it back. I always remember like, one thing my mum taught me was de- delay gratification. Yeah. And I think it's one thing so good is like always having that dangling carrot ahead of you too. Because the, the thought of actually working up and getting the watch was so much more exciting than just having it. See, too many people, what, what they do is they pretend to be someone before they are. Mm. And I think what's more exciting and probably what makes you and I feel so fulfilled is being the person that can buy the nicest car in the room and mm-hmm. buy the nicest watch because we work, we put in the hours, mm. we put in the hard mm-hmm. work, we chase the painful things. You know, mm-hmm. we do all the difficult stuff. 
yeah. we deal with the hard things and we, we and and we grow so so fast you know beyond beyond levels that by the way most people couldn't even fathom mm -hmm. and that is where true fulfillment comes from it's being the type of person that can have these things mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and of course getting them is lovely and it's nice and yeah. Um, yeah there's so much enjoyment and fulfillment to that but um i think it's more the sense of freedom it's the freedom it's, it's, like it's just the build having up to like that. knowing that when you go out and you're spending money you don't need to look at your bills every month like, yeah even if you go a bit nuts and spend know, five grand or something a month it's all right you yeah. know life goes on yeah you don't right. need to worry about it you're not going to be in your overdraft yeah. you know you can keep moving the needle forward and keep pushing yeah. things i mean forward. even just be uh, like take it for granted now but being able to go into a supermarket mm -hmm. and just not look at the price like i mean we we, we, we were in a couple of nights ago we we're getting getting some food from mm -hmm. from waitrose um the fanciest west end um supermarket there is um and we don't look at the prices we just like no. get the best what ones we actually look for probably the expensive stuff like give me the best steak give me the it's just the little things like that it's an abundance mindset and being able to be in that position is just amazing. And that comes from hard work. I'll of tell course. you that four years ago, we weren't like that. No. You know, it was a completely different game back then. That's it. That's it. hundred percent. What would you say um, is the most fulfilling or the best part about late property and working on late property? Um, it's, it's our trajectory and growth and a relentless push for more. I think is the the best lifeblood that let property has. I mm -hmm. think let property is is probably one of the best movements I can think of of something that was nothing and has become something great in a very short space of time. I mean, it was only mm -hmm. two years ago that we were out doing property viewings. A we year like, ago, let's say a year ago. Let, a year ago, yeah, we were out doing yeah. property viewings. Um, and trying to sign up clients and figuring out how to sell a damn house. Mm -hmm. And now we literally have a sales team of 30 people and tracking 50 to 100 this year. Mm, bringing Mass on about eight people a month or so. About six, eight people a month. Eight it's eight people like a month. it's turned into this big corporate. We'll probably get a, a, as fast a growth as bloody, you know, Morgan Stanley or something in terms of the team that, mm -hmm. that, that we're growing at the minute. And that's happened so fast. Mm. And I think what's I think what's exciting is just how much projects, how many opportunities are available within the company. Um, and also how we're able to help so, so many people grow quickly as well. It's yeah. seeing people with potential and actually matching them into something. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, there's guys that have joined us that were absolute nobodies mm -hmm. that have come in now. They're earning amazingly. Mm -hmm. they're, um, they're, they're, they're also like, they're, they're working on divisions within the company mm -hmm. now um, that are just just blowing things up. Mm -hmm. It's just it's just been amazing to actually work on something that has is making a huge impact. Yeah, one hundred percent. I think that's it. That's for me that the most fulfilling thing. Like I've always, always since I was younger, um, I've always done something entrepreneurial. I would have been selling, um, you know, all sorts of stuff. You know, here for earphones, e commerce, all sorts. Of e -com egg incubators was one of your aye, selling one of your all, big ones. Yeah, that was a big one. I sold. Uh, I started racking up, but selling all sorts of stuff. But so I knew that I always wanted to have a business, but. I never envisioned it to be like this where there's so many people that come in and having it to the, to the fact that this a room of people that really that we have people that are really wanting to grow as much as you yes. do and helping them is like-minded people that really yeah are yeah. on the same path and vision in life because when you make a certain amount of money everything else is 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 abundant yes. however one thing that isn't is seeing the change in other people when you get so good at changing your own life for the better you can change other people's. Yes, exactly. And you just see the massive impact that makes. I mean, even to, as we're saying, it's that, you know, we, we, we can we have the ability now to, to change the impact of a salesperson and the trajectory of their life. Mm -hmm. How does that affect their entire family? You mm -hmm. know, how much good are we spreading to the world by actually um, teaching people yeah. that life is abundant and that, that there is so much impact mm -hmm. that can be made? Yeah, that's it. I think um, the key is enjoying what you do that's like the, the number one thing it's like these the guys that and come into our office like johnny was speaking about him he's never even had a holiday in a year yeah <laughs> and it's like i've told him i was like take some time take off, some time off. Go, mate, you please make, go like, you make good money mate you've got yeah. a full sales team there takes take some time off and go and 
you know, chill out on a beach. And he's like, well, that's not me. <laughs> he's like, what am I going to do on a beach? Like, yes, exactly. Do you know what I mean? I'm, he likes the, the drive. He likes Our the, team just love the, it. I mean, the thrill. Get, guys, you've started this, this this month. They're in there till, you know, seven, eight o'clock. Yeah, we're like we're, even, we're looking at watches like, come on, guys. Like, <laughs> when you get away here, you know. Yeah. Just it's that drive. It's that excitement. And that's what that's what sales is uh, provides. It's uncapped. Like mm-hmm. uncapped commission, genuinely, yeah. it's their, their own little business. You know, the, the people in our, our team, they have true ownership of their own success. That's it. I, I even feel bad. See, for the amount of people, I know there's so many people out there that literally don't, they wake up every morning, they don't want to go into work. Like, that's a horrible yes. feeling to have. Um, and it's like, I love to see the, the number one thing is I love to see our guys getting excited and wanting to come yes. into work. Yes. Um, and that's something I have, you know, every morning I wake up, I'm excited. It's not always been like this. Yes. Um, you know, there's plenty of times I've not wanted to go to work, but, you know, having that is one of the best things about working in property. And another great thing about property is like, it's not just about the making the money in the property, but when you're doing property sales and you're making money, great, fantastic, right? But it's like, what do you do with the money once you've got it? Well, you're working property, right? So they go hand in hand. You don't just have the expertise to invest. Um, you have the facilities. You have everything around you. You know mortgage brokers. Yes. You know what better than 99% of people out there? I mean, you're going to make more money and invest in property. Yep. You know, there's some guys, sales guys that I know um, on the floor that have... Um, bought a couple of investment properties recently. Even which, yourself. I yeah, mean, you've become yeah. a wee landlord yourself, haven't you? Um, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Uh, 100%. It's like you've been building up a portfolio. It's like understanding the game of property investment, the the ability to build wealth around that. If you're tr- teaching people all day how to successfully invest, mm-hmm. think about what that can do for your own life in terms of investment when you do start to make a lot of money in your career. So it's about it's about the skills. It's not It's not just about, you know, Oh, let's come in and make lots of money. No, the, the, actually, what's more important than making lots of money initially is actually learning the skills of somebody mm. who can make a lot of money. Mm-hmm. Because if we were put in a beach tomorrow and be given a laptop and said, go and make money, we would be, mm-hmm. we'd do the same again very, very quickly because we have the skills and we've, you know, we've been around the right people and um, we have the right attitude, mm-hmm. the right culture. It's the uh, blueprint again, like the what blueprint we're talking about at the there. start. It's like, if you have that blueprint, you know, Put, put yourself on that beach with a laptop for myself, we'll make money. 100%. But most people can. And it's like even um, one of the guys, the marketing guy that started, one of the things that I loved about him when he came in, he was like, look, I just want to learn the skills. Yes. Like, I just want the skills and experience. And that's what I said at the start as well. I, I remember when I came out of university, I was like, I don't know what the fuck to do in my life. You know, I'm lost. I um, didn't know what to do. And I was like, I looked and I was like, well, I want to do business. I want to be an entrepreneur. I want to make money. Where can I start? I seen an advert for a sales job and I was like, well, sales makes sense. That will help you progress. I went down, realised it was a door-to-door sales job. You were, you were crap at sales at that point. Oh, right? terrible. Like, yeah, I, I was just not very good at sales whatsoever. Yeah. But I knew if I could build on that and become good, yes. then it would help me so much yes. in life. And it has, and it was the best thing I'd ever done. I'm so happy that And what I've did you do? Like, it's, it's, the, it's like Tony Robbins says, like, success leaves clues. Like, what mm-hmm. you did is you constantly put yourself in an environment mm-hmm. where you were around good salespeople. Mm-hmm. And more importantly, you had the um, the courage to go and learn from the right people, mm-hmm. to find the people in the room who actually had something to offer that you didn't, you weren't mm-hmm. aware of, and you didn't know. And that's it. It's like the success leaves clues. Blueprint. I remember when I went in, it, everyone always spoke about the uh, the the laws of averages, right? So this is where you chop a hundred doors, and you get like three or four. Yes. Um, you know, because that's the average. You just need to go through as many people. And I realised um, after speaking to. It was the, basically the guy that was the top sales guy in that full, uh, sales floor went up to me and I said, can I just watch you? You know, yes. I put myself out there. I was like, can I just watch you for a day? And he was like, he probably loved it. As and he you goes, learn little <laughs> phrases and yeah. you learn why he's saying the little phrases. Mm-hmm. You then start to use it and then you start to see it work and then you build confidence and it's confidence that allows you to level up to that next level. Exactly. It wasn't even just that, but that, that was all great. But it, when I'd watched him, it was so different to what I'd expected. Yes. He only trapped like four or five doors. They felt like he, he barely, we went out and I was like, should we not be, I was like, it's like three o'clock. I was like, should we not be heading out now? You know, usually I'd be on the, on the, you know, spending eight hours going out and trying Slogging to sell. It. And he said, no, 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 let's go for lunch. He's like, what do you fancy? He was like, let's go Domino's, you know? And he sat and he's paid for a big expensive meal. And then he was like, it was like six or seven o'clock at night. And I was like, right, we should probably start working now. Like, he's right, okay, fine, fine. And he went out and he trapped like four or five doors and he closed like half of them 
and then he chapped another couple, done done the same. And I think the whole full night he chapped about 10 doors, I'd supposed to be 100 and we were there for like half an hour. He'd done the sales and that was him. And it just shows that it's, it's that quality over the quantity. Yes. And the same in property, the leads we have are so, hot. you know, hot and we, we, can't, we can't ruin them. We need really good salespeople. But we have good in. salespeople who can take one investor and sell them lots of houses. Mm -hmm. They can take more out of the one lead than someone else. Absolutely. Right? So it becomes then about the strategy, the way you attack it, mm -hmm. you know, the skills that you develop. And that's why drive is so in, incredibly important, you know, to, to us, um, because it shows that someone is willing to push and find that limit of what's possible. You know, like um, we, have, we have a culture dog, a really strong culture in like property. Mm -hmm. And our number one thing on that document says, um, we act like the person that can push the boundaries of what is truly possible mm -hmm. every single day. That. Um, being able to push boundaries and have that um, that relentless energy mm -hmm. um, to really do something with your life. Yeah. You know, say you're going to do something and actually go and do it. That's something that's really rare. And mm -hmm. it's something that people, I think most people have it in them. But Absolutely. Are they willing to face their fears and go and take that next step and do something about it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. 100%. Um, I think that's it. That's it. Um, but yeah, I hope this gave everyone an idea of, uh, you know, what it's like and what we've been up to and the basically where we've been. Because I mean, last year, this time last year, it was, I think we'd done like 28,000 um, on the board. Um, yeah. And this 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 well, last month, we'd uh, done about half Start a million. last year, it was 28 grand in, yeah. the, in the board. And what was it? Was it this month you said? Last last month there, we had hit half a mil. Yeah. Um, in the one one month, and you know that sort of like going from twenty eight to half a mil is huge, like huge expansion. Yeah, it's insane. But what is going to be crazy is the the half a mil to where it, where we go next year. Yes. And I'm looking forward to that as well. You know, with that, there's so much opportunity. The biggest thing that I think we lack right now is not just shit hot sales guys, but sales managers, people that can come in, and grow a team, people yes. that are entrepreneurial, that are business minded, that want to come in and you know facilitate their a vehicle that will actually get them to the level where they need to be 100%. or where they want to be you know 100%. and we've got that opportunity there so it's about finding the right people and bringing them well, in what we have is we have a, we have a very uh, we have an environment now that we protect heavily mm -hmm. um, i mean i think it would have been easier for people to get in the door a year ago mm. now it's a very very specific type of person that's going to fit in with our our company because it's a very high opportunity very very strong mindset company and I think if you're the type of person that matches it, you're gonna you'll do incredibly you'll well thrive. with us. Yes, yeah. if you have that drive, you have that um, everything that we spoke about here, um, the psychology of a successful um, salesperson for like property, mm -hmm. if you have that, um, the the ability to grow and expand not only your skills mm -hmm. but financially will be absolutely dramatic. Yes. And we we are we're always looking for for, for that next person. Um, even a year ago when we were on doing this. You know, we, we we put your phone number, remember? Oh, on yeah. The, on, on, Won't be doing that again. On the, on no one's the video. getting my number. Um, it was actually around after that time. I mean, your phone, I remember, I remember yeah. sitting at dinner with you and your phone was like, it was like a call center. Like, oh, yeah, it's crazy. Ring, 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 call after call after call. People trying to get jobs, people trying to get this, <laughs> trying to get that. Recruitment agents phoning you. Like everything, everyone used to phone you. Yeah. We're not going to yeah. put Callum's phone number on this video. Yeah, no thanks. Um, but what we will add to this video is we will put a link mm -hmm. to the page and that will have um, a bit of an explainer so if someone mm -hmm. is, is in sales right now mm -hmm. let's just let's just explain the opportunity yes absolutely um, we you know you, you can apply uh, to work with us we are always looking for good sales people great sales people we're looking for people that have drive and mm -hmm. um, experience is preferred um, you need to be uh, Glasgow based at the moment yeah we're based um, in Glasgow. it's Gla Glasgow based office set up um, and and yeah, it, you need to basically tick every single box, and um, we're, we're not um, we're not promising anything, but you can certainly have a go at the opportunity if you think it's right for you. Yeah. And you can you can basically apply on our website, um, and you'll you, you you'll go through the application process. We'll we'll let you know it's very rigorous. Yeah, basically, we're, basically, if you want to change your life, just just click the link and apply. <laughs> it will do it. We've we've done it with many people now. Um, and, and we're going to do it with many more. It's exciting, yeah. and that's the great thing about sales. You know, if you're a good salesperson, you, you'll always make you'll always make money. And, yeah. um everything needs to be sold. Yeah, somewhere it's communication. That's why Nathan done well. You know, he's got he's a good communicator. Yes. So if you feel like you're even a good communicator, we're not. We do ask for two years experience. Um, that is hugely advantageous. However, if you come in and you've got 
you know, good patter and, you know, you're a good communicator, that'll also take you far. Yeah. As I said, it's more so about the mindset than the actual experience that you've got. And um, we want to see people that are extremely driven, that are willing to put in that work. If you can put in that work, you'll get, um, you know, get the rewards or in that another side. 100%. Yeah, so you can click the link on the page, you can apply. Mm -hmm. um, it's been exciting doing this with you again, mate. Um, I mean, the I'm excited year. to put this up. Um, <laughs> and yeah, yeah, we'll see you soon. 100%. All the best. <laughs>